a lot of people probably don't even know that the power knee exists or that it would be good for them. Researchers at the University of Michigan are studying how robotic prosthetic legs can help users who may not be using them. Some of that research happens here in Ann Arbor, where engineers study the motions of the human body. This lab is lined with cameras that capture the slightest movements, which is useful when running experiments to see how the body responds to external disturbances. Kevin Best and Andrew Seelhoff recently published a study that shows robotic prosthetic legs can help users walk, sit, and stand. So previously when people have done similar studies, they've found that robotic devices aren't necessarily worth the extra complexity or cost that compared to passive devices. And so we decided to re-examine that with updated hardware and with some of our latest control techniques to see if we could show that maybe there are benefits here that make the extra cost and complexity of these devices worth it. Uh, in terms of long-term health and reducing things like osteoarthritis, back pain, um, things that commonly occur with use of passive prostheses. The research is personally important to Andrew Seelhoff, who became an amputee at 13 years old. He says insurance coverage can often limit what kind of prosthesis someone gets. The idea that robotic prostheses can be beneficial for people has been kind of largely disagreed upon, especially because, you know, 10 years ago, these devices were a lot bulkier, the control systems were not as refined, but technology has advanced so much and is continuing to accelerate. Once these devices are more available to a larger um, uh, group of people, and especially being covered by insurance, most importantly, you're going to see drastic improvements in quality of life for amputees. For more health news, subscribe to our newsletter.